Hello everybody, Mike DiMatteo here with Mike's Gig TV. Today I'm going to be calibrating my studio monitors with this, the Sonarworks Reference 4 Studio Edition. Stay tuned to see how it works. It comes with a card that has instructions on how to download the software. Software needs to be downloaded online. Comes with a calibration microphone. It's the XREF20. All right, I have the Reference 4 measure software open that comes with the SonarWorks Reference 4 system. And I have the reference microphone plugged in. And now we're gonna go through the steps on how to do it. And you just follow along with the software. Click on measure your speakers. Got fan of power. Microphone's not directly plugged into the uh, speaker system. Audio interface. Set it 44.1. Click next. Got the microphone plugged in. Your individual microphone calibration profile is right there. Click next. Select your input and output device. I'm going to go with Onyx Producer Analog 1. Output is Onyx Producer Analog 1 2. Click next. Adjust your microphone input gain. And to do this, you set the mic roughly where your head will be when you're listening. Click Next. Play the signals. Click Next. That was just a demonstration of what the signals sound like. Now, how to position your microphone correctly. Keep the microphone at ear level. Aim between the speakers. Hold the microphone away from your body and get ready to adjust the mic input gain on your audio interface. Alright, let's try that and see what happens. All right, see what was happening there. It was telling me uh, first that there was too much noise, so I turned down the mic pre a little bit. And then it was saying it wasn't getting enough signal, so I turned up the speaker volume a little bit, and then uh, the gain of the mic a little bit until it got to the point where it said it was okay. So that's, it's all pretty much self-guided. Determine the distance between your speakers. Next. Okay, don't stand between the speakers, stand on the outer side of the speakers. Okay, so we'll do that. Center of the cone, standing off to the side. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. Left speaker done. All right, now we'll go to the right speaker. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress.
Right speaker done. If the distance doesn't match your setup, use controls to make adjustments. It's two feet ten inches between speakers. Uh, I'd say that looks good. Okay. Room evaluation. Locate your listening spot. It's almost where the camera is sitting. Okay, stand at the listening position and point mic at the speaker midpoint. And start measuring. Okay, just to get an idea where I was. I don't think you see that. Okay, I was right here. Right next to the camera. Alright, 2 feet 10 inches all the way. So that looks like it's okay. Alright, looks good. Listening area measurements. Next, keep the microphone within your listening spot. Hold the microphone at the same level your ears were when listening position. It's going to tell you to move to the next location and then it's going to tell you to stop in that location while the measurements are taking place. Move the mic to the indicated location which is the listening spot right there and start measuring. Telling me to move the microphone there. Okay, nice job. Show result. That's the re frequency response of the speakers as measured by the Reference 4 software. Alright, let's name the profile KRK Rocket 5. Save and finish. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. I have a mic set up in the listening position right by my head here. It's a decent mic. It's a Lewitt interviewer microphone which is made for speaking but it has a, a good smooth wide response dynamic microphone. But it's just going to give you a, um, a representational idea of what the system sounds like with and without the reference for it turned on. Uh, I found a track on uh, YouTube, so uh, I'm not going to run into any copyright problems by playing this. So this is just, once again, this is just to give you a rough idea, and I'm going to go to the uh, uh, Sonarworks system-wide software, turn it on and off so you can get an idea. Okay, this is what, without the studio reference software turned on, this is just the raw sound of the speakers. This is with studio reference on. And this is 
with it off again. I don't know if you can see up here, but this is the curve of the speakers that the studio reference uh, measured and is showing a 6 dB down at uh, 90, 80, 70, 70, 60, 50 is all 6 dB down. And this is without the studio reference engaged. Okay, this is off. This is on. Listening to a mono microphone here. Again, that's with studio reference turned off. sounds much nicer with it on you can definitely get more bass out of your system if you're in a compromised situation where you need to control the bass more with software and there you have it two thumbs up